Money matters, and this Saturday, the Independence Bowl turns 40. And what better way to celebrate than an all-day party? NBC6's Joel Rogers is live at Independence Stadium to explain how the game affects the local economy. Joel. Christian, good evening to you. Yes, the Independence Bowl is turning 40, and football fans are excited. And so are local businesses and the economy. Everybody is very, very excited. Welcome to the area of Virginia Tech and Tulsa and all of your families and fan base and everyone have a great time. The Independence Bowl starts at 445 on Saturday, but the fun kicks off at 8 a.m. We've got the 5K run, which is uh, a new event for the Independence Bowl. And once everyone is warmed up, then Fan Fest starts at noon. We'll have uh, a pep rally, Mardi Gras parade, uh, all sorts of events leading from noon all the way up to game time. The impact of the 40th Independence Bowl goes beyond the football field. It is a huge economic impact to our area. Last year, our direct economic impact was around $9 million. And then if you factor in the publicity value that Shreveport Bossier gets, uh, you're looking at up to $17 million. Lisa Johnson with the Bossier Chamber of Commerce asked visiting fans to get a good taste of what the area has to offer. And then say, man, let's come back and come back in the summertime and let's do a long vacation. We see that happen often that when they're a first time visitor at through the Independence Bowl and they get an introduction and they come back. And with tickets still available, it's not too late to get in on the fun. Saturday, uh, get with your family, get some tickets, come out and enjoy the game. We're hoping for Chamber of Commerce weather, so all of our uh, weathermen out there, y'all do your job and make sure that if the rain has to come, get it in and out of here. Good, good. Christian. The party all starts Saturday morning at 8 a.m., continues all day long, and hopefully the economic impact will last a bit longer. Back to you. All right, thanks, Joel. All sounds like a lot of fun. And the e